so today we are discussing the generation of mobile communication technology so mobile communication technology is an important aspect in the communication technology so it is a main tool or it is a common tool for the wireless media so each and every time we are having a communication uh, between the two person through the mobile so the mobile can transmit the data as well as the voice communication so we can get the uh, sufficient mobile communication or sufficient data transfer and sufficient voice communication it will be taking the several years of uh, representation so it also it can be implemented with the help of multiple access schemes so we are having uh, four different types of multiple access method uh, tdma dma and cdma and wcdma so it will be happening based on the time based on the frequency based on the code and based on the space uh, nowadays it is a big challenge to select the uh, proper communication channel or proper technology to communicate the uh, one person to another person it is a systematically we can identify the factors and systematically we can identify the channel between the sender to receiver so we can have the selection by using your mobile communication technology uh, so first we are having a so many generations so for example we can start with the zero generation and nowadays we are implemented with the fifth generation also uh, so first one uh, in zero generation it's a normal phone that communication channel should be a radio telephone method so the communication is possible only for the voice communication this not having any uh, data communication between the two mobile phones so it will be uh, usually mounted in the cars or trucks so it will be a move movable part so we can implement the mobile phone in the any one movable vehicle so then only the communication will be done by that uh, particular uh, mounted cars so in this zero technology or uh, zero generation what are the technology will be used to for first one is push to talk so it will be we are communicating the voice communication so each and every word can be pushed from one sample to another place automatically it will be moving to the sender to receiver and the second technology is mobile telephone system so mobile telephone system is used for the communication channel in the radio frequency method and the next one mts so mts means a mobile telephone system it will be a improved version of the previous one so this technology will be used in the zero generation so next one it is a simple representation of your mobile phone in the uh, zero generation so zero generation will be implemented in 1924 the next one is first generation so first generation is representing the analog cell phone so it will be communicating the voice with the high frequency uh, that uh, high frequency refer to 150 milli hertz uh, in this transmitter uh, from one tower to another tower so radio tower will be used for you are representing the um, high frequency mobile phone communications so this is done in the technique of fdma so in this what is the meaning of fdma is a frequency division multiple access so in this technology we are using frequency division multiple access so first of all we can send the data from sender to receiver we can have a multiple access so we have to allocate the frequency for particular uh, time period for the sender to receiver for example i can have a uh, f1 frequency for particular time for uh, 10 minutes it will be allocating to the channel for sender to receiver so in that frequency can identify by the sender to send the data and the same thing that same frequency will be identified by the destination or receiver for the receiving the data from the channel uh, in frequency division multiple access we are having the frequency will be separated by the uh, god band so the god band will allocate the each and every frequency separation so based upon the god band and frequency allocation we can use the first generation computer the next one technology is a nordic mobile telephonic system and next one is advanced mobile phone system so in this three methods what are the problems will be arise first one there is no security so we can send the data from one sender to a receiver if anybody identify the frequency means we can easily track the communication uh, data uh, what we are sending by the sender and also prone to disruption so if you are having any data addition it is also possible to add the additional data to the original data so next one the second generation so the, the first generation was also implemented in the uh, 1964 uh, second generation will be implemented in 1991 so it is a digital cell phone 
the speed of the digital cell phones is kilo, uh, 10 um, kilobits per second. So, if the time download will be taking 5 the minutes, 3 minutes for MP3 songs. And what are the services will be provided by the second generation digital voice calling and SMS. So, in this SMS, we are having the so first of all, we are having a SMS so totally 160 character can send by a single message. So, it is the first implementation part of the second generation. So, what are the things will be happen or what are the things will be uh, used to in the second generation GSM? Uh, so, it is a global system for mobile communication, CDMA, so it will be core division multiple access. So, what is the thing is, we can identify the center to receiver, which type of uh, media can be used by using our coder and time division multiple access, we can allocate the time for a particular representation or particular data, the particular time that center can alone send the data from center to receiver. So what are the benefits of your uh, second generation? So it will be taking less power and the voice clarity will be improved, noise can be reduced and the security and safety between um, security and safety of the data and voice call is good. So next one third generation. So it is advanced version of second generation. The same thing 2G having a very uh, low communication channel or it will be low for uh, voice communication and slow transmission. So, we are having a third generation, it will be likely differed from second generation and also it can be transferred the voice data or non-voice data over the same network simultaneously. What is the aim of 3G? It will be covering more area and it will be having a less investment to implement the third generation mobile phones. So, what are the applications can be involved in the third generation? We are having internet, email, fax, e-commerce music, video clips and video conferencing is also implemented with the help of third generation. In the what are the features can be included in the third generation means phone calls, global roaming, send or receive a large email messages, high speed web and navigation and map. So video conferencing, TV streaming, electronic agenda, meeting, reminder and GPS. Uh, so, these are the features can be included in the third generation. So, the next one is uh, what are the representation. So, in this third generation is also over the 2.5 generation. So, what is the meaning of uh, second gen generation and third generation in between we are having a 2.5 generations also. So, in this uh, 2.5 generations also having some features. So, overcome that features we can include the audio and video streaming at uh, several times higher data speed, video conferencing support, web and WAP browsing uh, and TV through internet support is also implemented in the third generation. So the next one fourth generation, the fourth generation will be implemented in the 2011. Uh, fourth generation is used for ultra broadband speed and it having a very high internet connection. So it will be sufficient system, high network capacity huge data rate perfectly connected and global roaming, high quality of the services. These are the features will be included in the fourth generation. So what are the application can be included in the fourth generation? So nowadays we are using a mobile phone with the help of fourth generation only. So nowadays what are the features we are using? What are the applications we are using? That is the representation of fourth generation. So games, electronic agency, e-commerce, business, private life, vehicular, public place, entertainment, education, all those things will be implemented in the fourth generation representation. So these are the uh, uh, difference between the third generation and fourth generation. So what are the technology and what is the difference? Uh, in this representation switching, we are using a circuit switching and packet switching in the third generation. Fourth gen generation we used to for only for packet switching. So what is the meaning of this? Third generation, we are implemented with the help of circuit as well as packet switching. So circuit switching, first of all, we have to design all the path from center to receiver, then only we can send the data from center to receiver. But packet switching is not uh, previously defined the network. It will be taking a network path. Once the data will be sent from once one from center, after only they can identify the path of the network. So this is a packet switching. So the last generation is fifth generation. It can be implemented in 2010. Uh, so it is a very uh, advanced technology compared with all the other generations. So it will be having a worldwide wireless web. So 5G technology is used for very high bandwidth. 
the high value technology so there is uh, it will be providing the high resolution uh, for the mobile phone so extraordinary data cap capability and also data rates are also high uh, so the restriction of the cross communication will be less so it will be having a latest mobile operating system so this is a representation of fifth generation so the last one is we are having a generation of mobile phone uh, technologies as a pictorial representation so what is the first generation it will be button phone and second generation we are having a small screen touch phone and third generation will implemented with the help of uh, mail message and uh, internet all those things so first generation will be used for only one voice and second generation will be implemented for uh, data and voice so third generation sir we can identify the internet also fourth generation and fifth generation thank you